I was not planning on uploading today. I'm working on another. I'm working on another script that's taking a bit more time. But my attention shifted when I received the comment on my video asking me to rate someone. Let's read it together. John Anthony lifestyle must be done by you, Nero Angelo. I'm sure he will have another triggered meltdown. Edit. For anyone wondering, John Anthony implied he's a nine out of ten or higher because the women he has been with said so. Now I'm not familiar with Anthony and the nature of his content at core. He seems to be some sort of dating coach, teaching game. I have no agendas or hatred toward him. This will be an outsider's shot at rating his face. Also keep in mind, this is purely a facial attractiveness rating, not SMV wise, so pure face alone. So if Anthony really said he is a 9 out of 10 in terms of facial attractiveness, this will put him at the level of someone like Johnny Depp or Sean O'Pry. But if he meant SMV, it's still unrealistic, but I am in no position to discuss his SMV because of my lack of knowledge on his status and life in general. If you want to support the channel and get your face evaluated by me with personalized look max and advice, link will be down in the description. Without further ado, let's get this video started. So I usually start with rating the lower third and work my way up, but not today. There is something that needs to be discussed that will affect the entire rating and that's the high body fat percentage. And there is a lot of signs that show of high body fat percentage through looking at the softness and roundness in the cheek area and how heavy the lower side of the face looks. And even if you look away from the face and focus on the body, you can see that there is no major definition, which might indicate higher body fat percentages. So that's our first major flaw. So we will start with the jaw like usual, and this time we do have a side profile picture, unlike many ratings we did. So first things first, we will look at the ramus length and there is no signs that shows of a long and lengthy ramus, which is what is desirable. This may be due to the high body fat percentage, but until other picture shows him with the long ramus, I would say that his ramus length is short, which is a flaw. Here is an example for a long ramus. The mandible seems straight and forwardly grown, which is good. The chin also seems to be forwardly grown, which is great. The hyoid area is not tight, but it's not loose either. It's in between in this presented picture, which is impressive considering his weight. Next is the bigonial width or jaw width in simple man's terms. In his bigonial width seems to be above average. The thirds of the symmetry seems to be decent, but I cannot mark him well on it because there is noticeable amount of asymmetry in the lower third. The right third is larger in size than the left one, which is a flaw. This will be significant later. I would say his beard does help him hide some of the asymmetries to a minimal extent. And this also help him have a more defined looking jaw goes to show you the importance of the beard and how much it can help. His mid face, much to my surprise, is compact around 1 to 1.07. We measure that by calculating the distance between the pupils of the eyes and dividing that by the distance from the pupils to the upper lips. The cheekbones are asymmetrical in height. The right cheekbone is lower set, while the left one is average in height, which is a flaw in my books. The nose width to face width ratio is around 1 to 3.4, which means the nostril width is average in size. The general nose size is also average. The nose is hooked, which is a flaw, but for men, that does not matter much unless it's too extreme. And the nasolabial angle is below 90 degrees, which again is a flaw, but again it does not matter. The nose is projected, which is good. There isn't much forward maxilla growth here, it seems flat. His facial width to height ratio is around 1.7, which is in the average range. This is affected by his higher set eyebrows. Let's move on to the next portion of the video. The eye area is where he thinks hard again, it's pretty bad. For the eye spacing, they are around one eye width apart from each other, which is good. The upper eyelid exposure is terrible. For the left eye, you can see that it's average at best. But the right eye have way too much upper eyelid exposure. This gives the illusion of a negative cantal tilt and the right eye. But you might be surprised that both eyes actually have a neutral cantal tilt. It's just that the asymmetry in the upper eyelids is so bad that it gives the illusion of a negative cantal tilt. Another flaw I picked on straight which hurts his eye shape is the droopy lower eyelids. They are not tight just like the example presented here right in front of us. The surroundings of the eye area are sunken in and hollow which shows of old age. The eye orbits also seems round and large. All of this resulting in the so called prey eye shape. His light green eyes look unique and do help a bit. But when the rest of the features are weak it cannot boost too much. The eyes don't look deeper set and the brow ridge does not protrude. Both are flaws. For the eyebrows, they are slightly above average in fullness and elongated which is good. They have a positive tilt which is also good. But they are higher set which means they don't sit close to the eyes, another flaw. 
This gives off that surprised look all the time. Now for the general analysis where we look at some other features. As we see here with the equal thirds of the face, the mid face is the most compact out of all three thirds which lines up with our mid face analysis earlier. But he would have looked better if the forehead and lower third were a bit shorter. Not equal though, we still want the lower third to be a bit longer for men. The lips are full but asymmetrical, they are offset to the left and asymmetrical in fullness with the upper lip way fuller than the lower one. The skin is starting to show of old age, the hairline is weak and looks unnatural, I suspect a hair transplant might have been done, but I might be wrong, anyways the hair is thinning and balding, which does not help. The skull shape from this angle does look decent and the ears are well shaped. The grey hair shows of old age but I don't care much about them. So what is the final rating then? Well it's below average and I will justify why, weak eye area, just like stated above, a lot of asymmetries especially in the right side of the face, high body fat percentage which by itself knock many down to the below average range, and weak hair. Would you believe me if I said Anthony can increase his score significantly with a mix of personal effort and surgical intervention? He needs to lean down to the 12% body fat range, maybe go for almond eye surgery and use some fillers in the under eye area to fill it making him look more youthful. He should work on his hair as well, if he is already not. There is much to improve but this is not a look maxing video. That's it for today's video, hope you guys enjoyed it, a like and subscribe would be highly appreciated and like usual, catch you guys in the next one.